Today we're going to make a crusty Dutch oven French bread. This is the easiest bread to make as long as you think far enough ahead. What you need for this recipe is three and three quarter cup bread flour. You can use regular flour but bread flour is a little more elastic and holds the the gas gases from the yeast better. Uh, one quarter teaspoon of active dry yeast, two and a half teaspoons of salt, 12 ounces of water, a quarter to a half a cup sunflower seeds, that's optional, I like sunflower seeds in mine, and some cornmeal. We have our bread flour here, so we're going to add our salt. Our yeast, and mix it up. And we're going to add the water. it's well blended. It's a little bit hairy looking. So we'll just cover it up with plastic and uh, put it in a warm spot and then leave it for 18 or 19 hours. Well, it's been 17 or 17 and a half hours of rising. You can see there's lots of air in it. So then what you do next, have a little bit of bread flour out. This is a lot stickier than most of the bread dough, but it's supposed to be that way. You need to put a little bit on your hands. So first we'll punch it down. And I'm going to add my sunflower seeds. And you just kind of fold it over onto itself a couple of times. Adding more flour if you need, if it gets too sticky. Now we're just going to leave it right there, put a towel over it, let it rise for another 15 minutes. Now the dough has been resting for 15 minutes, looks pretty good, that's what we're going to do. Let's take the cornmeal, just it on here, this is to keep it from sticking. Add some more sunflower seeds. Put a little flour on our hands. We're just going to form that into a ball like that. Since we're going to be transferring this into a Dutch oven, after the Dutch oven is heated, we need to be able to pull it off of here without without ruining it so we put some more on top there to keep it from sticking pull that over and we're going to let it rise for another hour or two hours the bread's been rising for about an hour and a half and since we have to preheat our camp oven I have the coals going uh, it'll take 10-15 minutes and we'll come back and start preheating our camp oven Okay, we have our oiled 12 inch camp oven and we have about 20 coals there on the bottom. Go ahead and move the camp oven over the coals. Put 
the lid on the top and we'll put 20 to 24 coals on the top and get it preheating. Our dough has been rising in a warm spot in the house for about two hours. It's doubled in size. We have our camp oven that's been preheating for 15-20 minutes. So we're going to go ahead and transfer our dough to the camp oven and we'll get it cooking. As you can see, the dough is still a little bit jiggly, which means it's really delicate right now. So you have to kind of gently work it up off the towel, which is why you put the cornmeal down and then transfer it into the Dutch oven, camp oven, and uh, without releasing all of the air. Put it right in the camp oven like that. We'll put the lid back on it and we're going to let it cook for about a half an hour and then we're going to come and put a few more coals on the top to kind of make sure the top gets nice and crispy. Alright, it's been about 15 minutes so we're going to turn and turn to keep it cooking evenly. Quarter turn, quarter turn. Be back in about 15 more minutes to do the same thing and add some more coals. It's been another 15 minutes and I'm going to take a peek just because I can smell it and I don't want to add more coals if I don't really need to. Yum, it's looking pretty good. It's pretty brown on top so I'm not going to add any more coals. I'm going to turn and turn and let it go for another 10 or 15 minutes. Yeah, it's been another 10 minutes, so we'll take a look and see what it looks like. Hmm, that looks pretty good. Good and crusty. Uh, I think we're going to call that good. Alright, it's nice and golden brown and crusty. So we'll just take it out of the camp oven. Put it on a cooling rack. And as tempting as it might be, you need to let it cool for at least 15 minutes before you cut into it. Yummy. Yummy. Here's how it turned out. crusty crust. Nice and fluffy inside. Yum. That'll be tasty all week.